this is making the reproducibility repeatability chart in the excel sheet i'll first explain you know i'll stop in the place where it is required take the excel sheet and then do this formatting okay now in the excel sheet you can put all the operators 1 to 10 uh, number of components 1 to 10 and operators so just for the sake of um, non cluttering of that we will take only two operators okay so arun is one of the operators who will check this so if you see here the average how am i calculating the average average you can put average function also but there is also another way that you can do the total divided by the count of values correct the sum of the three things divided by the count of that comma 4 is actually for four decimal places that is why we have used a round function here okay instead of using the average function we have used round function because i want to show you that this is sum divided by the total and then comma 4 so that you will have four decimal places so this i have constructed for operator 1 and what is the range range is nothing but maximum to minimum we need to see the difference between the maximum and minimum so the difference of maximum and minimum if you're not able to see the formula clearly don't worry you can see this video so now you have the average now you can calculate the average of the averages why should you calculate the average of the averages you saw the x bar chart finally as per aag standards when you have to put it in the formula you need all this okay so i here also i'm using the round of function the sum of all these readings divided by count of all these readings comma 4 so that i get average in four decimal places similarly range i will use round function sum of all these values by count of all these values comma 4 that will give me a range now i have to use the same table for the second operator and his name is sumit now is a important portion now part average the part average is totally you have six readings now what are those six readings operator 1 has taken three readings operator 2 has taken three readings his average and his average divided by 2 to totally average of six readings okay so why are we taking the part average because we are going to use this later now the total range of these averages is something that is required which is called rp that is part range we had a range for person a we call them appraiser variation the measuring is called equipment we are going to use the two words ev for equipment variation and av for appraiser variation appraiser okay and then parts is r a r b r these appraisers range x a and x b is appraisers average and r p is the part range so now this requires a lot of practice okay now you need to calculate what is called as the range of entire parts okay so with whatever is minimum between r a and r uh, the difference between r a and r b we need to put so that we have calculated the range of a and b and also we need to calculate this x difference that is the average difference difference between the averages and uh, whichever is maximum between these two minus whichever is minimum between these two that is the difference of averages okay okay what we will do now is 
there is something called as a constant table that we will use i will go through it slowly in the subsequent session and i will just since for the paucity of time what i'll do is once you go through it one full round you'll be very clear now there is something called as a constant sheet what is a constant sheet we have three things here we have a trial here we have an operator here we have a part here trials you can conduct two trials or three trials in this case we have conducted two trial because you have repeated two times you can repeat it three times also you can have two operators three operators here we have two operators you can have five parts or 10 parts here we have 10 parts with what i call constant sheet the reason is for calculating the appraiser variation for calculating the equipment variation there is a constant that we have to apply which has been mathematically derived called as k1 for trials k2 for operators and k3 for parts 